two pairs of pants that are literally identical, same color, same everything. One fit, the other didn't, and I finally figured out why. One of them really is slightly larger than the other. <sighs> it's been a while, but after doing my camera vlog, I kind of felt like, you know, using my old handheld camera. Meow. 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 Good kitten internet. That's a good kitten. I feel like going for a walk today. Let's get some food. Alright, let's head out. It's currently, I don't know, 1930 outside? And yes, I am actually wearing the same shirt as yesterday. That's because I'm wearing nicer clothing at work. So I'm just changing into something comfortable when I get home, basically. So I want to talk about, I don't know, things, stuff, weather. I don't know why I want to talk about weather. It's mostly that I'm running out of conversation topics. Also, am I zoomed in? Nope. It's been a long time since I've used this. Oh, birds. As I was saying, it's been a long time since I've actually used this camera. I'm walking the wrong way. Technically that way does work, but it's noisier. So since I'm actually vlogging while I walk, I should walk the longer way. One of the reasons why I don't use this camera, uh, yeah, I know, it's bright. Um, one of the reasons why I don't use this camera is basically because its battery life isn't very good. It only has about an hour worth of battery on it, which, I suppose to be fair, my personal camera probably, or my um, smartphone actually probably is about the same if I was recording. Uh, for some reason, this doesn't bounce as much as my Alpha 6000. It's not like there's any optical image stabilization to my knowledge, so I'm not entirely sure why. But, yeah. So at least this way I can see myself without having to use a selfie camera constantly, which is how I record a lot of these. I'm trying not to get the sun directly in the camera. That's going to be difficult with the route that I'm taking, because the sun's going to be at my back most of the way. Ah, uh, ooh, I can already feel my shoulder hurting a bit. I'm probably going to be turning this off and on frequently so I can talk as I think of things. Speaking of, let me go turn this off so I can talk a little bit later. So, um, one of the things that got me thinking about weather was a uh, warning that I was reading about that tornado season started. I live in the Midwestern part of the United States, which is a really weird phrase given that I'm definitely closer to the East Coast than the West Coast, but anyway, that's the name of the region. Midwestern part of the United States is fairly well known for getting strong tornadoes. I happen to live in the very northern edge of what's called Tornado Alley, or the area of the United States that gets the strongest tornadoes, also known as the Midwest. Uh, and this neighborhood um, actually, it was it four years ago, I want to say? Both the neighborhood I live in and my workplace were hit by the same tornado. And I actually work a fairly decently long distance away from here. Uh, it's a uh, 10 to 15 minute drive. Uh, white. This does not handle light balance very well. Can you just focus on my face? There we go. That works a little better. Uh, so, basically the tornado, you're gonna just have to deal with dark occasionally because I can't constantly edit it, or change the white balance. Um, basically, tornado hit my workplace. They actually got recordings of the tornado hitting. Uh, it basically went down the road that my workplace is actually off of, and kind of sideswiped one of the buildings. Relatively light damage, like roof damaged, um, a few windows shattered, a monitor sucked out of an office, you know, that type of thing. It went along that area, then rose up, no longer touching the ground, went for quite a distance, then touched down again in this neighborhood that I'm walking through right now, the neighborhood I live in. 
So, basically every couple of blocks from my, my house was perfectly fine. There was no damage whatsoever. It didn't even look like it was a strong windstorm. About the other side of the block that I live on, you can see, oh yeah, it looks like a couple of tiny, tiny twigs are down, like if we got hit with high winds. Every block or two you saw, uh, super white balance, uh, you saw significantly more damage until you eventually came to the block that the tornado actually struck where you didn't see trees anymore and there was a building missing. That building being somebody's home. They've since rebuilt. It's been four years and this is a very in-demand neighborhood by virtue of the fact that everywhere in Madison is in stupid amounts of demand, but you get the idea. That is the primary natural disaster of the area that I live in. It's tornadoes. Um, they're not that bad. I want to say that the tornado that struck here was an EF1, which is, uh, the scale goes EF0 to EF5, and 0 and 1 are the lightest weight. Uh, zeros are primarily what hit South Florida, for those of you Floridians that may be watching. And so, I mean, this wasn't a super strong tornado, but still, the fact that a tornado only hit a few blocks away didn't exactly have much fun. Ooh, bunny. Uh, yeah, so the other type of weather that we tend to get severe weather-wise would be blizzards and ice storms. And I mean, I've definitely lived here during a few ice storms, but that's not... It's not really lethal unless if you're driving. If you stay inside of your house, you're fine. Um, sure, if it was a nasty enough ice storm, that might be a different story, but of the time that I've lived here, I haven't seen that. <sighs> Is my phone still doing its thing? Let me check. Ooh. I'm playing Pokemon Go while I'm doing this. My phone is just in the phone pocket, and it's running while I'm doing things. I'm just wanting to make sure that it's staying running. Hmm. It's a good machop. Two perfect stats. Okay, yep, everything's still running. Yep, okay. Put this back in that pocket and continue walking. So I'm just walking to a local ice cream shop for reference. Uh, it's called Michael's. It's a local chain around here in Madison area. They have frozen custard technically, not ice cream, but ice cream enough where if you say ice cream, it's good enough. It's also delicious and not even close to diet approved, but this week I'm actually not on my diet at all. I need to reset a few things after my immune system decided that it didn't want to exist anymore. Uh, not to mention, I've had food poisoning twice. Two separate incidents this week. What? Also, need to raise this higher so you can actually see my face. <sighs> so, let's see. I grew up in South Florida. In South Florida, there's a lot of different types of major weather disasters. The most wide known would be hurricanes. Uh, first hurricane that I went through in my memory, there's a chance that I've gone through another one and I just don't have any memory of it because I was too young, would have been Hurricane Andrew. That was 1992. Uh, it was my first day of school in a brand new school. Hurricane was supposed to directly hit where I was living. It ended up turning right at the last moment and hit Homestead, Florida, which is about... Mm, 50 miles south of where I lived. Anyway, um, schools were closed that day. It was only one day because we were basically missed by the hurricane and the city of Homestead, Florida doesn't exist. Uh, it basically completely wiped out the city. That's kind of my level of natural disaster I'm used to. And I'm sorry, tiny tornadoes don't really impact me as much. They suck, don't get me wrong. I still don't want my house hit by a tornado. And at least when it comes to hurricanes, they're predictable. Not like I know exactly where this is going to hit predictable. More as in, hey look, there's a hurricane forming. It's heading generally toward the direction that we're at. We should probably prepare. And you usually have a decent amount of time to prepare. Days, if not weeks. 
tornadoes by themselves, you know, hey look, this is a nasty storm, we're gonna issue a watch, and that's about it. Watch. Then warning, warning, you'll hear tornado sirens go off, at least around here. You don't necessarily hear tornado sirens going off in other locations. And... You usually have a few minutes notice, and that part sucks. Uh, earthquakes bother me for the same reason, because... We've only recently been able to give significant notice to earthquakes. Uh, that scares the crap out of me, but then again, I've never lived where the ground moves. Uh, technically, I have experienced an earthquake. It was really minor, and I didn't feel it at all. But I was, and there were other people that did know that there was an earthquake going on. Uh, so... If you can't tell from the background, which is probably due to the really bad color balancing of this camera, it is bright and sunny outside. Let's see if I can get it to focus. 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 It's not really focusing. So, it's bright and sunny. I don't see any clouds in the sky. There's a little bit of haze, but not a significant amount. Uh, current weather is about 13 degrees Celsius. That's... oh, I have no idea what in Fahrenheit. Uh, me in the future will probably put it down there, somewhere. Uh, let's see. So this is short sleeve t-shirt and shorts weather for me. In general, anything above 10 degrees Celsius is short sleeve t-shirt and shorts weather. Um, if... If your low is above 10 degrees, I want nothing to do with long pants or long sleeve shirts. Uh, if the high is just barely above 10 degrees, I'll frequently wear long pants, but that's because, well, it's probably going to be significantly colder, so... 10 degrees, I can definitely go lower than that and wear shorts. In fact, I probably will be on the way back, because, well... If it's 13 degrees now, by the time I walk back, it'll probably be more like 9. That's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, my ideal temperature conditions are... Probably in the 20 to 23 degrees range. Um, 25 is fine. I can generally handle up to about 27 before I start having problems, which... Keep in mind, I grew up mostly in South Florida. 27 degrees in South Florida is winter. Those are winter highs. Um, I don't know what the high today was, but it's probably in the 30s. I don't handle really warm temperature very temperatures very well. I profusely sweat. I do that even in winter. I'm actually sweating right now underneath the hat. And I probably don't need the hat anymore. So the sun is not visible at the moment. It's probably set behind the tree line finally. Uh, yeah, what was that time? Oh, weather. Uh, temperature. Um, so, I really should not live in South Florida. I would have no idea how I survived growing up. I even lived a year and a half without any type of air conditioning. That was brutal. I basically sat still the entire time. And the rest of my family has no idea why I don't want to move back. Huh. Could be because it's way too hot for me. Um, other extreme, cold weather. So... As I mentioned, I'm fine in shorts down to about 10 degrees. Uh, at about 9 or 8 degrees it gets slightly uncomfortable, especially if it's humid. Or windy, I should say. But in general, I'm still pretty much okay. Um, I can actually wear shorts all the way down to freezing without getting too uncomfortable. But that's more of a... I can do it, I don't want to do it. Whereas 10 and above, I want to wear shorts. They're easy and comfy to wear, like I said. Uh, let's see. Below freezing, I'm generally okay in just long sleeve shirt and long sleeve pants. Long sleeve pants. Good job, brain. All right, what moved? So, I'm actually walking through a walking path. See, there's the walking path. And there's a set of woods over here. Actually, I kind of wanted to focus on this, so from when I was talking about that tornado that hit, this is actually the path that the tornado took. That's why there's a bunch of down branches here. Although looking at the little preview display, it kind of just looks like a bunch of white twigs. I assure you, these are actually down trees. Um, it's a bunch of 
I zoom further back. I'm not really zoom focus. I can zoom. Yeah, if the previews of any indication, you can't really tell. It's all kind of whited out. Anyway, um, this is actually the path that the tornado took. It went along the backyards of several houses and eventually crossed further up there and slammed through a house. Uh, this is a really weird section of Madison. So this section that I'm standing on right here is in the city of Madison. That in there, up until very recently, was the town of Madison. Let me flip things back around. So, originally when Madison was founded, there was the city of Madison, which was supposed to be the capital and nothing else, and the town of Madison, where people were to live. There's a couple of other Midwestern capitals that are set up that way. Don't really know why. Haven't really researched it. Um, more recently, the town of Madison was basically the place that rich people lived. Um, they had lower taxes, so rich people would move there. They also had different school districts. Um, those of you that are not in the United States are probably unaware of this concept, but here in the United States, your school is based off of where you live, and the money that the school gets is based off of where the school district is. So it comes from property taxes, specifically the property taxes of where the school district is. So richer school districts, as in school districts that have higher value property, get more money. It's a terrible, terrible thing. I've lived through it for a long time at this point. Ooh, I could put somebody into this gym. Add somebody to the gym. Oh, let's see, what's the theme of the gym? There's a lot of flying things in this gym. Let's go ahead and add something flying. We shall add... We shall add just submit. Just submit is my perfect Pidgey. So, lots of flying things at this gym. Okay, anyway. Um, so as a result, there's like little pockets of the town of Madison that were left up until very recently where there was a plan to eliminate the town of Madison and split the area between the city of Madison and the city of Fitchburg. I think I might have even talked about this in a previous log at one point. Anyway, I've been talking a lot. Remember when I had said I was going to pause the video briefly? I paused it for maybe about a minute at most. I'm almost at the ice cream shop. Also, color balance. I know there's a way for me to cause this to color balance better. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not filming in a low light environment. Yep, it's set for intelligent autofocus right now. Right, focus on my face. There, that should be a little better. And hit OK. So the background behind me will be a little more whited out, but now you should at least be able to see my face. Also, apparently I've been recording for over 15 minutes. I walk slower while I'm walking. That's not too surprising. So the ice cream shop is about 18 minutes away from where I live on foot which I'm on foot, you couldn't tell, but so anyway, getting back to the original topic, weather, cold, so below freezing is not that big of a deal to me. Uh, used to be quite a bit easier for me to deal with when I was in college. As I've gotten older, I don't handle the cold weather quite as well. It used to be that I was perfectly comfortable in shorts until I got to freezing. Now it's 10 degrees above freezing. So generally down to minus 10, I'm okay. I mean, if I have a morning where it's not particularly windy and it's minus nine outside, I can probably just get away with wearing a light hoodie and be done and long pants. Uh, if it's windy, that's a different story. Wind hits me pretty hard now, so does wet. Um, below minus 10 is where I start having problems. I need to bundle up more. And because I'm frequently outside, because I walk everywhere, 
I have to worry about frostbite. And I've started getting minor amounts of frostbite on my hands when temperatures wouldn't necessarily indicate that I should. So, it's not a nice feeling. I wish I didn't get that, but it's the way it is. Uh, what else? <sighs> I chose a topic that I kind of run out of information on, don't I? Well, I'll go ahead and pause this finally, because I'm starting to approach the road, and it'll get noisy for a bit. <laughs> I've got a little bit longer. What else can I talk about? I really need vlogging ideas. So, previous times that I've done Vita, I had a list of topics that I wanted to cover. The problem is that a lot of these topics require a lot of editing. So, for an example, the thing that ended my last Vita is that I had recorded a cooking video. I had used three separate cameras to do this, uh, four sources of audio, and... Oh, editing, I gave up at about 15 hours worth of editing. I'm not very fast at editing. I'm actually better than I was back then for some weird reason that I don't understand. It's not like I've been practicing much, but I'm still not fast. And I really dislike it because you know what sounds interesting? Watching my ugly face for 15 hours. Ugh. It doesn't help that I have a really low opinion of myself, especially of my physical appearance, so that just tends to get annoying. And yeah, I keep switching which arm is holding the camera because even though this camera is really lightweight, I'm not very good with my shoulders. And they get really tired fast. Anyway, um, I'm almost back at the, I don't want to call main road. I live in Madison. This is still only two lanes of traffic in each direction. I live in suburbia, basically. But I'm getting to a busier road, so. I'll go ahead and cut off the video for now. See you in a bit. So, one thing is weird to me is how fast the sun sets. I haven't been walking that long, and the sun was definitely much higher in the sky before. Because, well, it was interfering with the vlog constantly. And now it's down. It's kind of weird. Hey, guys, this is the golf course I live right nearby. Say hello, golf course. Hello, Aether's Burn. Huh, that's weird. Golf course sounds like me. Uh, let's see. I want to see what the special of the day is at Michael's. I've definitely shown off the picture online quite a bit, but I loved their Free Doom ice cream. Ooh, classic Free Doom. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. See how noisy it is? Um, not filtering the noise at the moment, so... Hope, well, hopefully it doesn't show up on the camera, but... I'm also not using a lavalier mic. It's something I have purchased at one point, but the lav mics that I picked up were actually significantly worse than just the camera mic. Like, I had problems hearing me and had to switch to the camera mic to actually hear anything, and the lav mic was right here. I'd like to actually get a good lav mic at some point. Uh, sound and lighting are things that I think I can definitely improve in my vlogs. Okay, I'm gonna go cross the road, so. Today's flavor is Bear Claw. Yep. Mm, California turkey burger. Oops, I'm zooming in. That was not intentional, but now you can see the deliciousness. Mm. All right, now I'm just walking back and notice how much darker it is outside. I have to have the white balance up really high for a... Well, when I first turned this on, it was basically solid black, so... Fun. <sighs> so... I've got plans for next couple of videos. Uh, thinking... Have I actually talked about my role-playing system yet? Also, am I all the way zoomed out? Yeah. Unfortunately, with holding this backwards, my pinky is right over the zoom, so I accidentally hit it every so often like this. That's not good. Uh, yeah, it's also getting a little cool outside. Must have just dropped below 10. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um... 
I have basically spent most of my night doing this. I have barely played any video games in a while now. Definitely over two weeks since I played more than maybe about a half an hour at a time of um, Slay the Spire, which is more of an idle thing for me at this point. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I've got another 15 minute walk ahead of me, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, internet.